Ladies and gentlemen, uh, tonight, in respect of rape, we as OG regret the dominance of the female narrative. Now, just to make it clear, not at any point do we want to lessen the importance of the female narrative. We only want to increase the importance of the male narrative as well to the level where female narrative is at. And we also want to say here that tonight's debate is not about rape, right or wrong, it's not what the debate is about. The debate is about the importance of the female narrative. We as OG want to support our case by using the following measures that women are seen more emotional than men and the societal, the societal view of men as being the more dominant sex, which my Deputy Prime Minister will argue for us further. Then also, we want to argue the point that media argue rape only from a feministic point. Thus, there is only exposure from a feministic point. Um, the male, the, 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 okay, um, uh, boys then seem to leave because they see in the media that they are immune to rape. Because they don't read about other men being raped, they seem to believe that they are immune to rape. information. Just a second, please. And uh, they also don't take the necessary precautionary measures as women do. Because women are being made more, they know more about rape of women, they take precautionary measures to not be raped in a sense. Um, and then, uh, as it is never exposed in the media, people don't know about rape for men. Thus, people don't have sympathy for men who have been raped and also there are not as many programs for men that are raped to help them cope with the situations that they find themselves in. And that is all because of the media. Yes. Uh, would you then say that boys being raped, like underage boys, are underplayed in the media? Yes, definitely I would say so. Because how many times have you seen headings reading girl raped, little girl raped, child raped? So many times it is only to not not thinking. So many times it is only focused on the female narrative, and boys being raped are in fact downplayed. And then we want to argue the point of basic human rights. It is your basic human right to decide who you want to have intercourse with, whether it be male or female. So the point that the feministic narrative is only seen is not justified at all because there are men suffering from the same exact problem. And um, we want to again then say that women are seen more emotional than men. And the, because women are seen more emotional than men, their basic human rights should not be denied. Your point, if you still have one. Is it on? Um, then, the societal view of men. Men are seen as weak in the society. Men are not as encouraged to show emotion and to talk to other people when they have been raped and when they have been in these situations, which then refers us again back to the media that do not give enough exposure and do not allow enough opportunities for men to come out and say, I am a rape victim and this is my story, as we have seen many, 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 many women, just a second, as we have seen many, 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 many women come out, tell their story and then be better women afterwards, your point. It's not the woman who needs to speak up, it's not the media that actually up for the women, the women who make the decision to speak up for themselves. Therefore, do you, do you not believe that men should be the ones to actually use their platforms that they have in society to speak more about their rape cases? But that is exactly the point that we are saying. Men do not feel free enough in the societal views that we have and in the media that we have to speak about this problem because the media tends to downplay men being raped, because there are not stories about men being raped. They don't feel free enough to use these platforms given to them 
as a woman would. Now, thank you. And then, um, we, just on that point as well, we don't say that a woman's view is not important. That's not what we're saying here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Never at the point we want to, you to feel that a woman's view is not important. We just want men's narrative to be viewed as well. And then, um, just to close, I want to say that the point we're arguing is that women are seeing more emotion than men. The societal views of men being crying is weak. Uh, the media downplaying men being raped. And human rights for both male and female. A voice seen as the medium of destruction against mass issues that influence our lives significantly. For years, the voices of women have been suppressed by the dominant sex in society. Rape victims are mainly women, as have been proven in statistics, in the South African Rape Statistics website. It has been proven that, or well, it's been suggested that in the next possibly 10 to 20 years, the numbers of women being raped each year will increase by numbers of close to 50 to 60 percent each year. No, in the period, sorry. Um, the reasons for women, for men, we ask not to hearing as many issues about rape, men being raped, is not due to the fact that media refuses or refuses to actually speak about these issues, but it's rather because the individuals choose not to use the platforms that are given, that they are given in society to speak openly about their issues. Women were not given the platform to speak by media. They had to fight for those platforms that they are given now. Each woman that speaks about a rape does not do so because out of her own choice, but rather because she knows that she has the opportunity to make a significant change in something that is affecting mostly or almost nearly every woman in our society. On a point of information, you say now that men have the same platform that women have, why would you say that men don't stand up then? Because clearly they choose to stick to what the norms are in society. They choose to believe that they are not of the same... If, 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 if you... Men choose not to speak because they believe that it would make them less men in the eyes of, of, of the society. But that has nothing to do with the media. That has nothing to do with the media. Because these norms have all been stuck through with us because of what we've been told by other people, what we've been taught as we grew up over the ages. Um, rape has significant influence in the lives of a woman. We do not only speak about something that has been taken away from you, such as that can never be given back to you, but we are speaking of things such as women falling pregnant. We are speaking of things such as um, emotional scarring. We are speaking of things such as even to extent of mental effects um, that women are going through. And like where as a man doesn't really have so much to speak about when it comes to, to, to their experiences and rape. Rape nowadays is seen as a form of power amongst the male society. Therefore, I believe that the, the reasons for us not having men speaking up about their rape is due to the fact that um, they are, in most cases, the individuals who are causing the rape rather than the individuals who are suffering from it. Through the media, men have power. Over the eight, over ages, men have ruled in different forms of job opportunities in different forms such as politics where women were not allowed to, to speak or women were not allowed to have a say in anything that was being done in their household. Therefore, we believe in this house that women should be given the opportunity to speak openly and should have the dominance when it comes to issues of rape um, to, to speak openly about them because they are trying to create awareness of what is happening amongst them and they are trying to actually stop this very bad thing that is happening in our societies and that are actually affecting us negatively. Because if we imagine us not knowing about, um, imagine if we never knew that a thing such as rape actually existed, how would we as individuals then react to it? How would we have, a, have, have, have dealt with it the way that we have if we didn't have people openly speaking about the fact that they had, they had such an experience? People, like, we, didn't, we wouldn't know if we would speak out about it. But now,
according to media, the women are the ones who speak out about it. If men don't speak out about it, then how are men going to take precautions against it? How, how is this logical? I'm getting away that a man can have a petrol woman. This is not necessarily true. If you had no, a no dialogue. Man, no dialogue. Um, because a man is, is easily. How can I say, in a woman, if you, with a woman in the case of being already, and you fall pregnant, for instance, um, if you have no voice, you actually stand up for yourself and say that I was raped and, and, and as a result of that, it's, that's why I, um, um, I am impregnated. Whereas a man, you can't really, um, because if, in a society where people would usually see you as being a very loose woman in that case, they would actually see it as, oh, it's because of you. You chose to experience with such things that you actually felt you. Whereas with a man, um, he doesn't really stand up for himself if, if, because he won't really have slightly bad mark on as much as a woman would. We, as uh, the government, would like to uh, point out a few points of rebuttal before I even get in, going into this argument, alright? We, uh, we had uh, opening opposition mention that there are statistics which prove women are more raped than men. But how do you know that these statistics are true if men are not able to speak up because of what media portrays men being raped is less important than women because men are the dominant sex? This is a societal view that has come into play many, many times over the years. Um, if you are a feminist, you may choose to disagree, obviously, but we, we, we maintain and we maintain strongly that we don't want to downplay the narrative of women, but the fact that men are raped is a very real problem in society. And the problem is that because men are viewed as a strong, powerful sex, they themselves cannot speak out because it is viewed as being weak. I want to reiterate this point with a um, case of men coming back from war, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. When men come back from war, they suffer nightmares, uh, psychotic breakdowns, psychoemotional issues. Why then would they not suffer if they are raped? Men have emotions, they experience rage, love, happiness. But if they are raped, why then can they not speak up? This is because society and media views them as being superior. They cannot speak up because then they are weak. They must be there for the women to protect them. But they can't if they're raped. And how does this play together if men cannot speak up because if they speak up, they are viewed as weak? Um, okay. We as opening government then see that men are not, they should not be portrayed as dominant sex that's equal to women when it comes to the case of rape. Rape is a very serious problem and we reiterate that it is not in any case we are downplaying the um, woman's narrative, but we view that it should be viewed as equal. Because why, is, in one case, it is worse for a woman to be raped than for a man to be raped. Rape is a problem that should be addressed. Um, we, want, we want to ask and we want to state why, why do we see that women being raped is more important than men being raped? Why is this, why is this happening? And uh, I hope that somebody can address this. Um, because we think that women, because they are viewed as a dominant species, as a species of sex, uh, must be portrayed through the media. They must have a voice. Why can't men have a voice? That is what we want to reiterate and want to emphasize as a thing. Governments. Um, hmm. Yes, rape happens, but it happens with men as well. And these boys can't protect themselves against rape if media doesn't portray this. And we want you to realize that women can be entitled to portray the media, but so can men. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.